in this problem we are given a 100 watt bulb so first of all you need to understand that a 100 watt bulb means 100 joules per second which means in one second it throws 100 joules of light energy into the surroundings if we consider the efficiency of the bulb to be 100 percent so it takes 100 joules of electrical energy per second and it converts 100 joules of electrical energy to light energy this is what it means okay now we are given this reaction that 1 h2 plus 1 h2 it gives 2 h e 3 plus a neutron plus 3.2 mev energy that means if one deuterium atom goes off it gives 3.2 divided by 2 so that is 1.6 mev energy so two deuterium atoms they are getting used up to give this much amount of energy so one deuterium atom would give this much amount of energy right now you have two kilos of deuterium atoms so first of all we need to use the mole concept and we need to find that two grams because one h2 so two grams contain 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms and one atom consists of one nuclei so these many nuclei so we have two kilos of deuterium so basically we have 2000 grams so it will have how many number of nuclei suppose n now you multiply this and you will get your answer as n is equal to 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 into <clears throat> 2000 divided by 2 so this will be simply 10 raised to 26 nuclei correct okay now when one nuclei uses is getting used up we get this much amount of energy so we have these many nuclei so the amount of energy that we are going to get amount of energy that we are going to get is 1.6 into 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 this answer is going to come in mev okay now if we want to convert though that mev into joules we know one ev is or one mev is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 13 joules of energy because 10 raised to minus 16 is only electron volt this is million electron volt okay now suppose this energy if i put it in a bag I have this bag and this amount of energy is there in the bag. Now this bag is attached with the bulb, the same bulb, 100 watt bulb, okay? And this much of amount of energy is inside. Out of that, in one second, this bulb is going to use 100 joules of energy in one second. So in one second, the bulb is going to use 100 joules of energy. So for this much amount of energy, that is 1.6 into 1.6 into 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 and then this becomes 10 joules so how much amount of seconds so you need to cross multiply and you need to get the answer and that answer if you convert that into years because this answer is in seconds you'll have to divide by 60 you will get in minutes again divide by 60 you will get in hours Again, divide by 24, you will get in days. Divided by 365, you will get in years. And that answer is 4.89 into 10 to the power 4 years. Now, simply that calculation, cross multiplication, I am leaving on you. Because this part, you will get in seconds. You will have to convert that into years. But you need to understand what is the actual meaning of the question. You can see that the nuclear fusion reactions are so powerful that they give enormous amount of energy that this 100 watt bulb can be lighted up for these many years.